putting needles out of work for tuck stitch lace. I'm doing 255 um, to show you what to do. Uh, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 stitch pattern repeat. So that is left one. So we bring out eight stitches either side of um, zero. Two, four, six. Let's put those back. Right, those are the eight eight stitches of the pattern. Repeat. Um, I'll move them back. Hopefully you can still see them. Uh, right, where were we? So, left one is in work, but left two is out of work. And one, two, right three is out of work. Two, three. Hope you can see those. We've put the others out of work. What I do, because I'm useless at things like this and counting, is I take a bit of paper <clears throat> and I mark it of where the needles are. And then I just move it along because you've now got to replicate this across the bed. I just move it along to the next needle. So that would be bring that one out, miss that one. I'll get there in a minute. That one, that one, that one, miss one. Those two. And you can begin to see we move those that will be three and as you can see there's a pattern starting and that pattern is now basically becoming um, three stitches three needles in work one out of work so if you go across your bed doing that with all all the needles that you've got out so you've got, I don't know, you've got 40 odd needles out of work, uh, needles in work. You would now go across moving every fourth needle back until you've got them all sorted across the bed. Um, test it out as a dry run. What The reason you're putting needles out of work with tuck lace is you can't tuck to needles together so the second one one of the needles that's going to tuck is being moved out of work so it doesn't tuck and it gives you the hole <laughs> 